Hello, I'm Herb Halling and a member of the Los Angeles International Fern Society. Today I'm going to bring you a video about the big staghorn ferns, also called platysariums. There are other large staghorns, but they are actually large balls of multiple stags in a cluster. But we are not going to discuss them at any length today. Staghorn ferns, or platysariums, come in many different sizes. There are small dwarf staghorns, medium-sized staghorns, and big staghorns. Today we are going to look at the big staghorns, specifically the grande, Superbum Otumii and one day. In addition, there are several other large staghorns that are cultivars of other species of platysariums. One trait of the big staghorns is they only propagate through spore. They do not give volunteers or pups like other staghorns do. Another trait is the spore do not grow on the tips of the fertile fronds, but grow on spore patches on the lobes of the fertile fronds. Let's look at the individual big stags. First is the grande. All the big stags have multiple fertile fronds. The grande is similar to the superbum, but the grande has two lobes with equal size spore patches on each fertile frond. This image shows three fertile fronds numbered one, two, and three. Each fertile frond has two spore patches. The spore patches are of equal size. In 1907, John Cheery and Hennipin proposed separating the grande and superbum into two separate species because of the differences in the spore patches. The grande and the superbum are identical except for the number and the shape of the spore patches. The superbum only has one spore patch and it'll either be triangular or oval in shape. I don't know if the grande has different cultivars but the superbum does. There is the standard perbum, and there is the superbum white, and possibly some other cultivars I'm not familiar with. There's also the Wande big stag, which is the largest platysarium and about one third larger than the superbum. The Wande looks like a grande and the superbum, except with a few exceptions. The Wande have much taller shield fronds, and there are frills growing at the bud. The Wande has two spore patches with one lobe elevated and one lobe hanging down, which are labeled A and B. The last big stag is the Holtumii. In the 1970 paper by John Cherie and Hennipin, where they, they also described the Holtumii as a new species. It differs from the Grande and the Superbum by having two fertile fronds with two lobes, one smaller and elevated, and the other was larger and hanging down. The Holtumii differs from the Wande by not having the little frills on the edges of the shield fronds around the bud. Another species that could be considered part of the big stag is the Wallichii. Hanipman and Ruse considered the Wallichii to be close related to the Elephantosis, whereas Hoshiaki, in an earlier paper, put it closer to the superbum group. The Wallichii fertile fronds are fan-like and has a main lobe with spore patch A hanging down, a second and third lobes to the side with the first having a spore patch B and the third lobe not having a spore patch. 
The Wallichii is reported to sometimes give a volunteer pup when kept moist. Another large species is the Elephantosis, but it is different from the big stags. The Elephantosis freely gives volunteer pups and the fertile fronds are like large unforked fronds similar to elephant ears. One last big stag I feel I need to discuss. This is a hybrid probably between a Wande and a Superbum. It's got the tall shield fronds of a Wande, but yet it's a single spore uh, on the fertile fronds making it a Superbum. And surprisingly, it's a sterile plant. We've tried several times. Several pe different people have tried propagating it, and we are not able to duplicate the this tends to suggest that maybe it's impossible to cross spore between any of the big stags. That summarizes the video on big stags. If you are a hobbyist of platysariums, consider joining the Los Angeles International Fern Society. We meet at 7 p.m. on the third Friday every month at the Los Angeles County Arboretum in Arcadia. It's a great way to learn more about your hobby. And one last piece of business. Down below, there's a thumbs up button. It's very important that you click on this button. When you click on the thumbs up button, it suggests to YouTube that it is a popular video and they will in turn promote this video to other platysarium hobbyists. And if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be notified next time I publish a video. And as we say at USC, fight on fellow Trojans.